Well, that's the sticker. Believe me, I'm jazzed about the sticker because of the cost of an OEM. There's just no, you can't find them, and when you do, I think they're 600 each. Um, hey, that sticker's fine with me. I got the latch on, still chasing down a little bit of an oil leak, but we're on the down word run on this. We're basically getting to the point where I'm gonna take it out and do the final video. I've got the chain guard to put on. I've installed the front fender. So the chain guard, I still have to order the hinges for the seat. I don't have them, I don't know where, and I have one turn signal that I've gotta get. But all in all, I've just got some rubber pieces. I've got this little piece here. And this will be, we'll go right there. It's a vent tube, crankcase vent tube. But, uh, you know, very small things to do here. And got the OEM seat, I put the strap on it. Well, it's not an OEM seat, it's a reproduction seat, but it's a beautiful seat. And I've got, uh, Basically just these rear rear pegs, the chain guard, there is mystery bolts, something on the triple tree, something. And this I believe goes with the seat. I'm gonna figure that out. Got the shifter and one blinker, so I'm minus one blinker. We're almost there. The finished product. All the work. Got a couple little baby things left, but nothing that I'm going to keep from doing the final video on. Everything's all shined up, and actually, I could have even cleaned it more. It's been sitting a little while since the last video. You can see I could clean the mirrors a little. But it is all finished and pretty and fuel tanks all lined and ready to go. The new ignition switch is in. Works beautifully. Yeah, I've got just a little, an oil leak coming from somewhere. I don't know exactly where, but we are to the finish line on this one. And that tangerine paint is so beautiful in the sun. necessarily going to start this. I'm, I'm still looking for the pitcock. I, I had it before. Um, don't know where. You know, you have so many bikes and you try and keep it all together and inevitably a piece here or there just gets kind of misfiled. But uh, all that's keeping this from running is the pitcock, which I really am not going to start it. I'm just going to show it with the stickers on the tires, kind of like the KZ I just finished. And as soon as I get uh, the blinkers, I'm missing one. It'll be ready to go. Show it wherever. Also, there's a, a seat latch. And there's a piece on the seat that bolts up here. And it latches to this. I've got to find that piece. Also the pins. And that'll hold the seat down where it's supposed to be. It's a little high on this side. But uh, all in all, 
probably could take this to the Meacham auction in Las Vegas and probably get a pretty good dollar for it. But uh, for those guys in Shingletown, this one's this one's calling your name. So until the next video and the next start, which should be a GS1100E, I will say goodbye.